Government can be a powerful force for good, but only when it works for the people. And the American people understand that today it doesn't. Our national crisis of faith in government boils down to this simple fact. People don't trust their government to do right because they think government works for the rich, the powerful, and the well-connected, and not for the American people. And here's the kicker. They're right. At a time when this country faces enormous challenges, our government actively serves the richest and the most powerful and turns its back on everyone else. At a time of skyrocketing inequality and stagnant wages for our middle class, our government is giving gargantuan handouts to the wealthiest Americans. At a time when mass incarceration grinds down human beings and destroys communities of color, our government is putting more cash into the for-profit prison industry. At a time when sea levels are rising and the health threats posed by climate change are accelerating by the day, our government is handing over both taxpayer money and federally protected lands to the fossil fuel industry. At a time of staggering drug prices and soaring out-of-pocket costs, our government tucks tail and runs away from any serious challenge to big pharma and greedy insurance companies. At a time of crippling student loan debt, our government is bending over backwards to help bogus for-profit colleges and student loan companies get richer by cheating students. Across the board, our government, our government, is failing to fix the problems that face our working families. Instead, it is making the problems worse by giving more money, more power, and more advantages to those who already have all three. So today, I'm introducing the most ambitious anti-corruption legislation proposed in Congress since Watergate. This is an aggressive set of reforms that would fundamentally change the way Washington does business. These reforms have one simple aim, to take power in Washington away from the wealthy, the powerful, and the well-connected who have corrupted our government and put power back in the hands of the American people.